Take a look at Ren and Tina. No job, free rent, catered meals. My birds live a spoiled little life from the comfort of a house. Not that house, that's not my house. The norm for raising chickens as pets is in the backyard. They sleep in a coop, forage for plants and insects, play in a run all day, and as chickens do, poop absolutely everywhere. Our life looks a little bit different. My hens live in a house, poop in a diaper, and sleep on my office chair. Here are four reasons why my birds are house chickens. The first is for their 24 seven safety and comfort. Being indoors provides around the clock predator protection and temperature control. Ren and Tina don't have to worry about any predators, unless of course they spot a bird flying from through the window or when it's diaper change time, then I am a very scary, very dangerous predator. The likelihood of a bear pommeling through my front door versus a chicken coop, very unlikely. We lived in Las Vegas for two years. There you got other birds, snakes, scorpions, and the occasional rogue mountain lion prowling through the suburbs. It's a scary world out there. You can read the chicken forums yourself. People go out of their way to improve predator protection, but sometimes it's just not enough. Predators can get through and the consequences are devastating. Having them indoors is what I believe to be the safest place for chickens in terms of predation. The second piece of this is that they are completely clueless to the concept of weather. They never have to worry about enduring freezing temperatures or extreme heats in the summer. Some people provide heat in their coop and some don't. Providing heat can come with a fire risk, and that's not to deter you from using heat in your coop, just that you should research which heating methods you're using. The easiest way for me to keep them warm in the winter and cool in the summer is to just click a button on my thermostat. Almost as easy as you clicking the subscribe button. In the Las Vegas Backyard Chickens group, all summer long, I'd read posts about how people's chickens had to come to the desert heat. And that's just something I don't have to worry about. The second reason is that chickens need homes. Not everyone has a yard, I didn't. And even if you do have a yard, you might not have the means to construct a coop and a run or the energy to maintain that. It takes a lot of manual labor to upkeep those facilities. But there are chickens waiting in shelters. There are many, many posts on Facebook of people looking to rehome their hens and roosters. Plenty of chickens just need somewhere to live and be cared for. If people can keep their chickens in the house, then we create more homes where chickens live. And chickens can perform all their natural behaviors from inside, it just looks a little bit different. They can sunbathe in the sunbeams that come through the window or dust bathe on a fluffy blanket or the carpet or a bed. Or you can set up an indoor dust bath with dirt mixed with sand or peat moss, whatever works for you. And you can also take them on field trips. I used to take them to the park when I lived in Las Vegas and before avian flu hit the US. Furniture and shelves and human heads make incredible roosts. I love you, sweet. If they need a replacement for scratching at the ground, give them a newspaper and they'll make it their dance floor. The bottom line is that chickens can live happy and healthy lives from indoors. I'm gonna link my favorite resource from the Open Sanctuary Project in the description down below. The third reason is that it allows you to monitor their behavior and health more carefully. When you're spending all day with your animals, you're gonna pick up on their behaviors and their routines. And if something changes, you're gonna have a lot of time spent with them to compare it to. Like how much they're eating, if they're pooping normally, are they still attacking the styrofoam that came with your latest delivery? That could be an indicator that they still have a lot of energy. Or are they puffed up in the corner and lethargic and not engaging in the way that they used to? Now, I'm lucky that my full-time job is work from home, so I spend literally all day with them unless I leave the house, which is kind of rare. But you don't have to spend the whole work day with them. There are plenty of people who have pets that don't work from home. Just by them living in the house, you'll spend more time with them and understand them better. For example, Ren recently developed a mass on her face. And with her in the house, it's much easier for me to monitor its growth and pick up on any additional behaviors that might be a symptom of this mystery inflammation. I have another example, but it's more sad. So we need a little bit of a change of pace. When Mina was dying, if you don't know, I had another bird named Mina who died in February, 2020. When she was dying, I was sitting at my desk and they were sitting at my feet. And that's when I noticed her unusual chirping and distressed breathing. And I brought her to the vet ASAP. Now I'm not promising better health outcomes if they live in the house, but you might just be close by in case of an emergency. The fourth and final reason is that we're family. Forget the yard, forget the safety benefits. 
I adopted them with the intention for them to be my companions. There's so much joy in loving and caring for and coexisting with animals of another species. Chickens are such loving companions. When I'm working, they'll fly up onto my office chair and start preening my hair. If they hear me say the word, They'll hop, skip, jog, run to try to get some, but don't feed them potato chips. Those are too salty. If I leave the room, they'll tend to vocalize and chirp and maybe even scream like they miss me. And chickens are domesticated animals, so they're not meant to live in the wild and live autonomously in nature. The closest comparison that I can make is that having chickens is a little bit similar to having cats. They like to give and receive affection as long as it's on their own terms, within their own boundaries. And they can be super independent and entertain themselves all day. My birds are the best thing that have ever happened to me. I love caring for them and laughing with them and annoying, I mean, talking with them all day. And our life is a little bit unusual, but it has to be just as or more fulfilling than keeping backyard chickens. If you're interested in having chicken companions, but you don't have the resources or the outdoor space, Consider adopting a house chicken and check out my where to adopt a chicken video. There are so many birds out there waiting to complete your family.